In this video, I will teach you about systems of equations in three variables. I will start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your maths and MX skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at this example. Let's look at this example. So I'm going to write down the question here, which is x plus y plus 2z equals to 5. So this one, I'm going to take this as equation 1. Then x minus y plus z equals to 3. And this one, I'm going to take this as equation 2. Next will be 2x minus y minus z equals to 14. This one, I'm going to take this as equation 3. Okay, so we have these three main equations which are given. So we see what we can eliminate. So we can eliminate this y, okay, by adding together it becomes zero. Okay, so I'm going to use equation 1 plus equation 2. Okay, so equation 1 plus 2, so x plus x is 2x. So positive y plus negative y, so we'll get zero, which means that y is eliminated. Next is 2z plus z will be 3z. And then 5 plus 3 will be 8, equals to 8. So this is going to be my fourth equation, equation 4. Okay, next we'll see what we can eliminate. Okay, equation 1 and 3, we can eliminate the y. Okay, so just now we use this and then now we use this. Okay, so I'm going to use equation 1 plus with equation 3. So equation 1 plus 3, so x plus 2x is 3x. Positive y plus negative y gets 0, so y is eliminated. And then 2z plus with negative z is positive z. Okay, so 5 plus 14 will be 19. So this is equation 5. Okay, next we're going to solve equation 4 and 5. Okay, so we're going to make this to be 6x. Okay, because I'm going to use elimination method. So I'm going to change this to 6x, so which means that equation 4, all the terms have to times 3. So equation 4, all the terms times 3. And then we get 6x, okay, plus 9z equals to 24. And this is equation 6. And then as for equation 5, I'm going to times 2 for all the terms. So equation 5 times 2. So I'll get 6x plus 2z equals to 38. Okay, this is my equation 7. So I'm going to solve equation 6 and 7, okay, by using equation 6 minus equation 7. So equation 6 minus 7, so 6x minus 6x is 0. So 9z minus 2z is 7, 7z. Okay, 24 minus 38 is negative 14. Okay, so now we solve the value for z. So z is negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2. Okay, so we got the value for z already. So this one, I'm going to take this as equation 8. Okay, so now I want to find my value of uh, x. So I'm going to sub this into equation 5, okay, to find the value of z. Okay, so sub 8 into 5. Okay, so it will be 3x plus so z is negative 2 equals to 19. So 3x is equals to, so 19 plus 2, you get 21. So x will be 21 divided by 3 is 7. Okay, so we got the value of x already, which is 7. So this one, I'm going to take this as equation 9. Okay, so now we have to find the value of y. I'm going to substitute this into equation 3, okay? Or equation 2. Uh, 2 will be easier because uh, the 3, digit 3 is smaller, okay, and all the terms for x, the coefficient for x, y, and z is um, just 1 or negative 1, okay, they will be the simplest. So I'm going to sub 8 and 9, okay, into equation 2. 
because equation 2 is the simplest. So equation 2 will be x, I'm going to write this down again, x minus y plus z equals to 3. Okay, so x is 7 minus y plus z is negative 2 equals to 3. Okay, so negative y equals to 3 minus 7 plus 2. Okay, so negative y is, so 3 minus 7 plus 2 is negative 2. So therefore, y is equals to 2. Okay, so now we have all the three answers already. So we write the statement at the bottom. So therefore, x is equals to 7, y is equals to 2, and z is equals to negative 2. Okay? Well, that's all for now. If you want to know how to solve more challenging questions on systems of equations, stay tuned to my next video which is Systems of Equations Part 2 coming up soon. Bye!